Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Working Money, getting your money working for you. Now I just wanted to take a quick sec to remind you guys, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click that little bell for new video notifications. And like the videos if you guys like the content I'm providing. And always comment on the videos. I love hearing what you guys have to say. So guys, according to CoinMarketCap, um, we saw Bitcoin and all the other coins um, do a bit of a run uh, over the last couple of days. And then it kind of corrected um, down to, you know, Bitcoin's down 0.11%, Ethereum's down 3.38%. Uh, XRP's down 4.56 and so on and so forth. So guys, we saw a little bit of a run. Um, I should put Bitcoin here on a daily. And, you know, we saw a little bit of a run here for for the, the coins. And, you know, we've kind of corrected a little. Bitcoin's still um, going up. But XRP, as you know, guys, has come down a little bit. And, you know, I've been getting asked this question quite, quite frequently uh, since I've been doing videos, which isn't that long. But the question is when are we likely to see the next bull run? And I'm sure all you guys are interested in, in knowing the answer to that, right? Obviously, I don't have a crystal ball, guys. I don't know exactly when the next bull run is going to happen. There is no way to tell for sure when the next bull run is going to happen. There are a lot of factors uh, that you have to take in consideration when looking at um, trends like these. And right now, you know, we're in a very immature market where there's a lot of speculative investors investing their money in these cryptocurrencies. And, you know, they just want a, qu a quick return. Uh, there's no real rhyme or reason why the market does what it does. Um, but we can take our best guess at when the bull market will start again. So guys, as you can see here, I love using this video here by uh, Bitcoin Salvador. Um, it's the historic Bitcoin price in action. It gives you a weekly candlestick chart of the Bitcoin trend uh, since 2011, 2010 or 2011, somewhere around there. So guys, I'm gonna use some of these historical averages and do a little bit of math in this video uh, to calculate when we could possibly see another Bitcoin trend. I'm taking the all-time highs, okay? When Bitcoin did their spikes and then retraced back to another all-time high. So what I'm going to do is take those numbers uh, and average them out and see when we can, and see how, how many weeks there were in between all-time high. So let, let me demonstrate here. So back in 2011, Bitcoin hit a high of $32 before it came down again, okay? Uh, and so, you know, the price came down and, you know, as you can see here, the, the trend is pretty familiar to what we're seeing now. It shot up and then it came right back down. And how many weeks? So each, each of these candlesticks represents a week of time. Um, and so, guys, we're, we're trying to calculate how many weeks it took for it to get back to this price and then move higher. So let's take a look here. So I know exactly where to find it because I've written it down in my notes. So, guys, up here, okay, is when we saw the all-time high break. So it was this week here. So how many weeks in between, right? How many weeks in between did it take for Bitcoin to break its all-time high. And so obviously we can extrapolate. So, you know, obviously the, the, the bull run starts somewhere before that, but if we know when we can assume it's gonna break its all-time high, we can, we can assume that, you know, maybe a few months before that is when the bull run starts. So guys, how many weeks was it here? And I've already pre-done the math. So um, for it to retrace back to $32, it took 90 weeks, okay? Um, and the next bull run happened right around here, okay? So, all-time highs right up here to about $270, $275, roughly. Okay, and then, you know, we saw Bitcoin crash again, as is familiar, the familiar trend. Okay, and, oh, where was it here? It was around here, where it retraced back to this all-time high, okay? And the, the amount of weeks, the, the, the time it took to retrace back to this 275 mark, guys, was 30 weeks, okay? So we have a 90-week, you know, lull between highs and then a 30-week retracement to get back to 275, okay? And then we saw the price crash again, as is familiar with the trends that we're seeing for Bitcoin. I'm going to link this video in the description, guys, if uh, you haven't seen this video. I've used it for a couple of my other videos just to kind of give a, you know, some history to Bitcoin and the price action that we've seen in the past. But guys, as you can see here, okay, so we want to retrace back to this high up here, okay? 
So this is about uh, $1,175 Bitcoin hit back in uh, sometime in 2013. And how long did it take for us to get back to that price before we broke that high? So guys, if you go over here, uh, let's see here. So as you can see, it lulled down in here, right? Um, and now we're starting the bull trend back up. So guys, right around here, Okay, right around right around this mark here, we saw Bitcoin retrace, um, break this resistance level, and move higher. Okay, so as you can see, it moved higher from that point, right? And so, how many weeks was it between this high peak and this high peak? How many weeks is this? And guys, it was a astounding 162 weeks. Unfortunately. So guys, let's do the math here. So we have 90, right, plus 30, right, plus 162 equals, or rather, let's do this in brackets, okay? So we're adding that first, guys, and then we're dividing that number by three to get the average. And guys, what does that equal? That equals an average of 94 weeks. Okay, guys, and I know that that number um, is probably not the number you want to hear. Uh, and I took the liberty to count the number of weeks out and to see exactly where that would land on. And guys, that lands us on the week of September 30th, 2019. So that's Bitcoin breaking high day. Okay. Um, we'll see if that happens, okay? You know, if you're watching this video on uh, September 30th, 2019, you can let me know in the comments uh, what, what happened. I'm recording this in July 2018. But guys, you know, this is taking into consideration um, a lot of things, okay? We can extrapolate this as well to the, the, entire, the entire cryptocurrency market. As we know, I'm using Bitcoin because Bitcoin is like the index for all these other cryptocurrencies. And guys, this is only taking into consideration speculation trading, right? You know, a lot of us hold positions in other coins. Many of us hold positions in XRP. All these coins do the same thing based on the beat of Bitcoin's drum. But guys, we have to remember one thing. Or actually, we have to remember a few things, okay? Let's not forget that in the past year, we have seen so many advancements in the cryptocurrency space, okay? Um, I think that this number here, the, the 90 weeks, or sorry, 94 weeks, I think that this is actually going to be shorter. Uh, and the reason is because, you know, we've seen lots of advancements in the cryptocurrency space. Uh, we know that governments are in the process of regulating cryptocurrencies. 2018 is the year of regulation. Okay, we know that uh, at the G20, the most recent G G20 summit, they've been talking about cryptocurrency. So governments are going to regulate. Companies are also adopting the technology. And we know that a lot of banks are applying for blockchain patents, for example. Uh, there are a lot of also um, uh, financial companies that, that are, are adopting the technology. Uh, banks are becoming more cryptocurrency friendly. Um, and we also know that you know institutional money is ready to pour into the market once these regulations happen. So guys, ultimately, I think that these numbers, um, you know, I, I think, I, you know, it says 94 weeks, but I think that that was based on a purely immature speculative market. I think it'll happen a lot sooner than that. And guys, one, one last thing, we also have to remember that, you know, all time high is all time high. So we'll, we'll break this point by theoretically September 30th, 2019. But think of all the months before that time where, you know, the price of Bitcoin starts pumping. So this is December 11th, 2017. But, you know, we saw the, the coins start pumping in and around March of 2017, right? We saw, you know, a, a bull trend up and then a, a correction, another trend up making new highs, a correction. Another trend up making new highs, a correction, and then finally this huge trend up. So it all started back in March and April 2017. So guys, we have to remember that too. These just This just gives you some numbers that you can think about when investing in cryptocurrency. And guys, we also have to remember this too, okay? For those of you invested in XRP, it's a very different type of coin. You know, it has real world utility. Many people think that it's going to break free of Bitcoin, decouple once mass adoption occurs. Uh, there are many reasons for that uh, outlined in, in several other videos that I've done and other YouTubers have done. So guys, do you guys think 94 weeks is a, is a realistic amount of time to break new highs for Bitcoin? Or do you guys think we're going to see it sooner or later for that matter? Tell me what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel. 
Uh, like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next video, guys.